Everybody. What's up, fam? What's up? Y'all know I'm in heaven right now. Oh, Facebook. Okay, wait. Here, it's him signing. Wow. On Facebook, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I think, hold on, yeah, that's not mine. Okay, you're good. Oh, good, I'm glad. Do you want to say one? No. No? You said I want. Thank you. Do you want to say hi to that Polynesian side of me? I'm Tongan, so I'm like, you want some more? You Tongan? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. You know, like right next to Samoa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. A lot of times people are like, what's a Tongan? I'm like, you know the rock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, y'all? Look. He's <laughs> on yep. It's certified. Yeah. Legitness. Yeah. All right. Legitness. I, Instagram. Wait, Hippie Michael Mike all day. Hey, oh, and Tracy's watching? Hey, Tracy. Tracy hey, and Tracy. Cindy, you're, you're super fans. Yeah, I snuck in town on it. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna knock on the door. What? Yeah. <laughs> Guess who it is? What's up, Juan? Where you at, Juan? Where's Juan? Oh, I know. I, I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kiki. So, oh, Kiki. So, Kiki found this, and she was so proud. So y'all know me and this brother go back. Yeah, we go back. We go back. So uh, superstar in the house. I mean, we probably didn't like being called that. But um, you know, it's um, they want to do an interview with us about Maurice and how, how it was to work with Maurice White. So the two of us, yeah, the two of us work with Maurice, so we're going to do that later. But we're going to get L play. Look, let me tell y'all, in this concert, is coming up tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, tomorrow at the, at the, at the at Chase Center. Chase Center. Yeah, Chase Center. So, me and Tyrese, Jenny Moran, Escape, all these happy people. Yeah, y'all got it. I'm on the world too. I want a microphone in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> the great one. One of the greatest songwriters around. One of the greatest singers. You know, they say he's got the baddest false on the planet. I done heard that one. Yeah. <laughs> All this honey they pouring on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, thank y'all for joining us. Let's do some music. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're doing all this love? Stop it. Okay, Facebook, let me fix you so you can see. I'm gonna make sure. Let me know. Tracy said that she's gonna be there at Chase Center. Okay, okay, for sure. Okay. El said he's gonna look out for you, Tracy. Okay. Um, wow, well, this is the Yeah, you want what you want more. Okay. 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 So Kiki is proud that her fellow Gemini is here. For sure. It's a surprise line because we were surprised today. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Linda. Hi. Australia Australia's watching, guys. Hey. We got Australia in the house. Yeah, that is a little hot. We got DC. DC's in the house. Hi, Latanya. Let's do all this. Latanya. We've got a Detroit King in the house. Let me, let me, let me switch channels. I didn't yell at you. Okay. 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 Ever so you just yeah. dropped in. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Yeah. Um, yes. Hi, oh, thanks. Hi, Jarrell. Hi, Calvin. Hi, Warner. Wesley. Hi, you too. Okay. 
Virginia, Virginia in the house. The D is in the house.
All right, mommy. Say goodbye.
more seconds. Let's try one more time. This mic's a lot better. Yeah, give him that mic. Thank <laughs> you. 
Curtis Stevens. And now to be easy. Tiffany, you need anything? Some, something else? You need anything? You okay? No. Are you sure? Okay. Oh gosh, that chair looks hideous. Can we just use our chair? I'm gonna be sitting. Okay, there you go. There we go. Okay. Are we going to church? We're going to do some choice. We're going to do some choice. Yeah. Some church in here. Some choice in here. Okay, here we go. We're going to let... What a friend? You guys want to do what a friend? Let's do what a friend. Oh no, I'm gonna say my. Does Elna? Wait, let's do it in. We knew how we got how I got over. Oh, how I got. No, what a friend. We know what a friend. Oh yeah. Daddy would have to leave that. We know what a friend. We can find that. I mean, uh, we'd have to. Yeah. Daddy, you gonna play? Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, what a friend. Okay, guys, come over here. Uh, why, why are you playing with it? Oh, my, I don't know. But you need it. Okay, oh. We always have to pay homage to our creator. Let's have him sit in the middle. Are we going to be back here? No, it's good. There's two tools. Go back. The phone. Okay. Yeah, go back. Okay. All right. I'll take you last time. Oh, do we have to back up? Uh oh. Go back. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what a friend we have. Friend we have. My darling. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> so, you guys got some. You got some questions. For that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I've been wanting to ask because Papa C and L have both worked with Maurice White. I want them to share some stories. 
I want them to share stories. Okay. Um, what I will say about Maurice was he was, he was a phenomenal, phenomenal brother. Um, he got wind of, of the CD that I put um, with the jazz hieroglyphics. That's what backed you up when we had the co Kokomo. Um, my jazz band backed um, L up at, when there was a club. Kokomo, that was long, yeah, that's when we first met. Long, long time ago. And a um, couple of years. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. We're both up there though now. Ooh, Lord. Um, the years have gone by so quick. But my 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 relationship with, with Maurice was like this. So he got a hold of a CD that I did through Ron Ellison. Ron was at a broadcasting um, convention and my frat brother TJ Miller was there uh, representing I think Polygram or Polydor when there was still Polydor and Polygram. Wow. And so um, Ron just happened to ask him, he said, man, I'm looking for a group. You know anybody? And my frat brother said, wait a minute, I'll meet you here in a few minutes. So I think he said the next day, because I think it was the end of the day. So he, he brought him this CD that we did. And the front cover of the CD reeks of earth, wind, and fire when you see it. But it's mostly a jazz kind of funk R&B album, right? And uh, so I get this call. My dad calls me. I'm watching Barry Bonds hit him out the park. I'm at the sports bar, man, just putting one up, right? <laughs> and putting a couple up. And um, so my dad calls me and said, boy, I've been trying to reach you forever. Them Earth, Wind, and Fire people trying to catch up with you. I said, what? Earth, Wind, and Fire? I'm thinking my dad is like tripping or whatever. He said, yeah, here's his number. Call him. <laughs> so I call his number, and it's Ron Ellison. Ron Ellison cursed me out on the phone and said, what the blah, 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 where you been? I've been trying to get you. We want to sign you. You signed. We already got you signed. I said, what? He said, yeah, we've been looking for you. We've been looking. We want this group. And I said, oh, wow. That's, that's, that. really? Is this really? He said, yeah. I'm going to get Maurice on the phone. He said, I'll tell you what. Hold on. He said, can't get him right now. i tell you what. I'm going to call you first thing tomorrow. So I was on BART coming from Concord. California coming into the city to work um, and so I get this call and it's Maurice White on the phone and Maurice ain't asked me if I wanted to be a part of it he said welcome to the family I ain't signed one put one nothing to ink on any paper and I was like wait this is Maurice White for real he said yeah welcome to the family I'm thinking wait a minute Who's going to believe this conversation? <laughs> so he flew to town because uh, we had been recording the album. He wanted to kind of take the album and do a little bit of something different with it. He wanted to take some of the songs and rework them. And so he, he reworked the, some of the songs. We, we, uh, I produced the album. He was executive producer. I went to, uh, they flew me down, and my girlfriend at the time flew us down to... Uh, to uh, Santa Monica and put me up on the beach for a little over a month, maybe two months. I don't know, I had been close to three months. While, <laughs> while we were, yeah, while we recorded this album. And he said to me, he said, I'm gonna take care of you. We both are Sagittarius, so we kind of vibe, right? And in that exchange, I got to meet Wyclef John, Eric Benet came through there with Holly Berry. It was an interesting, yeah, it was an interesting uh, 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 connection with Maurice. But anyway, he took care of me. I mean, he really did look after me. He said, you know, people in this business, they screw over people. I'm not going to do that. He said, I'm, I'm going to take care of you. So he took care of me, gave me a, a really decent contract. They gave me $2.84 for every CD. $2.84. Now, you know that's a deal, right? Man, that's unheard of. Right. And he said, I'm going to give you an unheard of contract. And so um, we did the record, and it was a success. And, um, you know, I just, he was such a great person to, yeah, to, to me, man. He was a good guy, man. He was, he was fun to work with, too. He worked with me on my In the Storm album. Uh, In the Storm. That's cool, that album, 
in the sun. Full of wisdom. Full of wisdom, man. Rest in peace, Maurice. Maurice yeah. White, we're talking about Maurice White, Earth, Wind, and Fire, for those of y'all may not know. You know, if you're not familiar with it, Earth, Wind, and Fire, just Google it. I'm sure your mom and daddy play some of these songs for you youngsters out there. But yeah, man, I'm listening, man. How was your, how was working with him in the studio? It was, it was, it, actually it was serious and fun at the same time. Right. It was, uh, uh, I could be myself even, it wasn't about any type of inhibitions. He just let it, his whole thing was just let it all just flow. Right. Let it flow and critique it later. Right. So I was able to do that. And that's where I was coming from in the first place. So, um, and I always knew that he would be like that because just from listening to all the Earth, Wind, and Fire albums, the way that it was produced, the way the songs were arranged, you could tell that there was a free spirit right. among them. Right. And Maurice was the, uh, the uh, leader of that. And, you know, he just brought that right in. So I, I kind of knew he would be there, but to experience it hands on, man, was, was yeah. great. It took me to another level. Yeah. You know. Yeah. How was he with your vocals? Because he was he was on my behind about them vocals, man, about them background vocals. I learned a lot about producing vocals from Maurice. Yeah, he was actually Maurice was uh he wasn't as heavy as I was on vocals. See, I'm a, a, a perfectionist, excuse me. Yeah. But he was he was telling me, man, that's that's cool, don't do it again, because I've put through the vocals over and over. Right, right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, don't do it no more, hell. that's it, man. <laughs> So he was actually cooling me out, really. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. But he's got a great ear. He knows what works. He knows what it takes. Uh, you know, it comes from years of experience. But, uh, it was just, it was, if I had to do it all over again, I'd have to do it earlier. Yeah, I, yeah. Work with me as well. That was some beautiful stuff y'all did, man. Yeah, Thank you. I love that album. I, you know what I like? I like that piece, man. I wanted to ask you about it. I'm going to ask you on camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about we. Doing a, a Curtis version of it. Which one? I think your brother wrote it. Somebody loves Somebody you. Somebody loves you. Oh no, I'm yeah. You wrote that? Oh, yeah. Can we do it? Can we redo <laughs> that piece just the Curtis family? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay. Y'all see, I got permission. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna present this especially, in court when we're. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, and will you sing on it with us? I keep adding yeah, extra stuff, you right? You <laughs> sing on uh, some of this other stuff I got too. I got. We keep asking. Y'all heard that? They don't stop. They don't stop. They don't stop. They don't stop. That's what huh? we're about, y'all. Music is my yeah, come heart on. therapy. That's right. Taking the pain from all my anatomy. Do it again. Do it again, my baby. Oh. You heard oh. it right yeah, here. Go ahead. Hey, Zahara has a question. Uh, I want right. to like, ask a question. Uh, what's the favorite song that you wrote? My favorite song um, for me that uh, you made was Where You Are. That's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Oh, where well, you I are, I want to be everywhere you are. Can we do the harmony? Where you are, <laughs> hey. I He's singing it in our house, too. That's fire. <laughs> Babyface and I wrote, co wrote that. Oh. Yeah. And he um he brought this song to me, brought the music to me and um, the backgrounds. Where are you uh, And he said, Okay. I said, That's beautiful. He said, I'm glad you like it. But you gotta write the words and the melody. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's when we did that whole album Hard Mind So as a man and I he, he wrote the music and I just do the melody and and um the, the lyrics. That was the way he chose to do it because, you know, he, he couldn't do it all by himself. But yeah. it was a way for us to do something together. So. Wow. Oh, that song that I love on that album is Please Tell Me Where, Where oh, yeah. Is My yeah. Love. Yeah. That is yeah. a killer. Yeah. But I have to admit, I do fast forward to <laughs> from Baby Face's part to Elle's part. I'd always, it starts at a minute 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you, Baby Face. I love you. I love you. I love you. If he's watching, if he's watching, are you watching Babyface? <laughs> hey, it could just be Mama. I'll, I'll, I'll get the free back. Zahara's like, I love your part. <laughs> Leave her in the party. Zahara, she take it. <laughs> I have a question for you. Of, of, of all the music that you've written, you've written a whole lot of music, not only for yourself, but for other people. Who would you say would be, because I'm sure it's hard to say, who's your favorite? But what's one of your favorite 
Who's one of your favorite artists and why? Walter Hawkins, gospel singer. Mm. Ah. 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 It's got to be, if I had to pick one outside of my brother Bobby from oh. Switch, mm. um, it would be Walter Hawkins. And then I can't go too far before I have to say Andre Crouch. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know, and then um, Marvin Gaye, Ronald Isley. Mm. Yeah. Sly Simon. Okay. Mm. Um, but these are some of my influences as well. You know. Right. Shaka Khan. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we watched yeah, that, watch that live stream. We up on mama. We yeah, we watched the live streams where she sings. Don't yeah. sleep on mama, mama, bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. We know. Yeah. We know. Um, mama C and Mama D. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't shine her shoes. I'm just... <laughs> I can't. I love Mama D. We got any questions out there? No, I mean, um, it's kind of... Yeah, it's kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's kind of... Got, he's busy. He's got to get yeah. going. But we can at least take two questions out there. Okay, where's... Uh, Tracy. Tracy, you got a question, Tracy? Tracy. Um, this is... Uh-oh. Did it pause? No. Okay. Um, no, not yet. What question is that? Hold on. Oh, excuse me. Okay. okay. Uh, let's go. Can you give Can us you give a us Michael Jackson? Michael like story, Jackson. like a Michael Jackson story. Or like is that what you're asking? Or um, or L.J. Ben, yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson story. Um, now uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait. Oh. After the cameras stop rolling, then we'll. Yeah. Um, well, oh look, Cindy said, "L, thank you so much for blessing us um, with so much love. I appreciate you always." Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Please. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you're getting tons of love, as you can see here. There's too many. Let me see the latest. Okay. Mr. DeBarge, how was it touring with your siblings? Oh, man. It was like we were each other's security blanket, each other's crutch. I mean, my siblings are among some of the best harmonizers and singers mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. I have to give it to them. They, they can really sing. I miss them. I wish I was still out there with them. Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah it was great. That's why you can relate to this. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for our surprise live stream with our special guest, Mr. Detroit himself. Wasn't that a movie, Mr. Detroit? Was it? Dr. Detroit. Dr. Detroit. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, I love that movie. Right. All right, y'all. All right. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.